Welcome to The Tech Show. I'm Sonia Gavankar, and this week, big screens in the car are back, apparently. We also have some pro design tips for your home office, and yet another gadget tries to snatch my stimulus. All that and more coming up on The Tech Show. Now it's time for the latest. The ashes of the late James Doohan, who played chief engineer Montgomery Scott on the original Star Trek television series, has been aboard the International Space Station for 12 years. And the Times of London has the fascinating backstory of how it happened. Doohan died in 2005 at the age of 85. His family wanted to fulfill his wish of getting on the ISS. Official requests to bring Doohan's ashes on the ISS were denied, but Richard Garriott, one of the first private citizens to travel on the space station, managed to smuggle some of Doohan's ashes into the space station in Columbus module. Garriott says he took a laminated picture of Doohan and some of his ashes and put it under the floorboards of the Columbus. He didn't tell anyone about the scheme, only he and Doohan's family knew until now. It was completely clandestine, Garriott told the Times. His family were very pleased that the ashes made it up there, but we were all disappointed we didn't get to talk about it publicly for so long. Now enough time has passed that we can. Roku has acquired defunct streaming services Quibi's library of content, the company announced recently. Content from the short form service will appear on the Roku channel for free at some point in 2021, though the company hasn't announced an exact date for its arrival. Roku did not disclose how much it paid for the content in its announcement, but the Wall Street Journal reports it paid significantly less than the $100 million for the shows. The deal was rumored earlier this month in a separate report from the Wall Street Journal. Despite Quibi's failure, its content was star-studded. Roku's announcement says the Quibi content it has licensed will feature stars including Idris Elba, Kevin Hart, Liam Hemsworth, Anna Kedrick, Nicole Richie, Chrissy Teigen, Lena Waithe, and many others. Over 75 shows will be available as part of the deal, Roku says. Roku, one of the leading hardware companies in the streaming space, is trying to push more into software. The Roku deal comes after Quibi officially announced it was shutting down in October after running for a little over six months. The app failed for a myriad of reasons, despite managing to raise $1.75 billion in funding prior to its launch, largely thanks to hype and deal-making from its high-profile leadership, former HP exec Meg Whitman, and former Disney chairman and movie producer Jeffrey Katzenberg. A DIY meal kit for growing steaks made from human cells was recently nominated for Design of the Year by the London-based Design Museum. Named the Ouroboros steak after the circular symbol for a snake eating itself tail first, the hypothetical kit would come with everything one needs to use their own cells to grow miniature human meat steaks. Blah. People think that eating oneself is cannibalism, which technically this is not. Grace Knight, one of the designers told Deezen Magazine, before you go running for your wallet, no, this isn't a product available to buy. Thank the Lord. It was created by scientist Andrew Paling, artist Orican Telhan and Knight, an industrial designer on commission by the Philadelphia Museum of Art for an exhibit last year and is a critique of the lab-grown meat industry, which the designers told Deezen Magazine is not actually an animal-friendly as one might expect. That's really gross. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Jonah Larson, and I'm 11 years old, and I'm a crochet prodigy. I am a fast crocheter. This hat, it took me 54 minutes. I see something in my head before I make it. I plan to be a surgeon. It helps me with hand dexterity, 
and my money I saved for my retirement. The crochet community is just so kind. Former Lynn Bachelor and Bachelorette contestant Bob Guinea shows us how to impress the ladies this Valentine's Day. But as a regular on the Today Show's Guys Tell All panel, he has plenty of insight to share about what guys want and think too. From gifts that say romance and creating the perfect atmosphere, Bob's got us covered. Hey Bob, what do you have? Hey guys, thanks for having me. This Valentine's Day, love out loud and send a bouquet from Teleflora's Valentine's Day lineup. Now, whether you're celebrating with a significant other or hosting a virtual Galentine's Day, a Teleflora Valentine's Day bouquet is the perfect gift. They have a ton of designs to choose from, like playfully pink and moonstruck mercury, which feature a festive mix of pink and red flowers paired with soft green accents. Bouquets are handmade and delivered to your doorstep by local florists in a keepsake container ready to enjoy right away. And you can purchase right now at teleflora.com. Now here's an entertaining tip. Whether you've been together three months or three years, it is still best to impress with a delicious cocktail that is easy to make. Just add soda water to the new Smirnoff Zero Sugar Infusions Lemon and Elderflower. Its citrus flavor and subtle notes of elderflower make it the perfect romantic dinner compliment. And zero sugar means you can have your cake and eat it too. Now for seltzer fans, there's a new Smirnoff Seltzer Core Variety Pack that has delicious flavors like lemon lime, black cherry, orange, and berry lemonade. Each flavor has zero sugar and 90 calories which I love. All right, so we've got the flowers, we got the cocktails. Now let's bring on the sweets. Frutella Soft Gummies, new to the US from Italy where they've been delighting families, European families, for over 90 years. Frutella combines the best of both worlds. This soft, tasty, sweet indulgence is made with real fruit puree. It's so good and it's perfect for kids and adults. They come in two delicious flavors, strawberry and raspberry and peach and mango, and the fruit character shapes are fun too. Available on Amazon and select Walmart stores. We've got all the fixings here. Now it's time for a romantic movie. With Nebula's Cosmos Max projector, you can turn your home into a home theater. It's 4K, shows up to 150 inches on a screen or wall, and has built-in speakers, which help offer an immersive experience. So you can stream a movie or watch a YouTube video, and it's going to sound great. Unlike more traditional boring projectors, a Cosmos Max has a unique oval shape and a starlight finish when you turn it on. For more information on all these Valentine's Day ideas, go to dailylounge.com. Back to you guys. Thanks for joining us, Bob. We'll have more of The Tech Show after this 60 second break. Welcome back. We're tackling work-life balance in this week's Home Tech. For many of us, working from home through the pandemic hasn't been ideal. We've camped out at dining tables, taken calls in the bathroom, and rearranged our closets to make a decent Zoom backdrop. But we're tired of makeshift spaces, and a London design studio has heard our cries for help. It created a beautiful home office that can be built in your backyard. The pod is called My Room in the Garden, and you can set it up in any outdoor space, including your driveway, backyard or garden. The exterior is made from a weatherproof aluminum while the interior is made from birch and there are floor to ceiling windows to ensure the space is well lit. Almost every aspect of the design is customizable. The space is built using modular systems of prefabricated units, which means you can arrange the pieces to best take advantage of your space. For instance, if you have a narrow alleyway next to your home, you can create a thin rectangular space. The smallest unit is around six feet by eight feet and costs $6,400. The largest starts at $13,600 and lets you add on as many modules as you want. If you'd rather actually work from inside your house, we've got some tips for you too. When the pandemic hit the United States in early 2020, many people scrambled to create makeshift home offices, carving out workstations and bedrooms and living rooms. But as the quarantine has stretched from weeks into months and now even into the second year, we've had to continue adapting. Now that a new calendar year hasn't seemed to magically reset us, it's time to look at the home workspace as more of a permanent thing. One way to do this is to think creatively about the rooms in your home. Traditionally, each room has had a specific purpose, but famed designer Jonathan Adler points out that a more formal approach doesn't make sense for many people anymore. He says, we're much more comfortable with not having designed rooms for particular activities. So think about any sad, unused space you might have that you can use as a workplace. 
If you're in a small apartment, could you turn a pantry or a large closet into a compact workplace? What about a space under the stairs? Could you perhaps create a corner to eat in the kitchen so you can turn your dining area into your home office? And take some time to create a Zoom background. You don't feel you have to apologize for every time you connect. And no, that doesn't mean sitting in front of a bookcase full of books to make us look smart, organized in color corrective orders. Instead of automatically gravitating toward books, which can be distracting, think creatively about art or furniture. Perhaps you have a fun bar cart, a vintage record player, or a rack of dresses. If your budget allows, you could purchase a new work of art or piece of pottery. On a smaller scale, you could frame some of your child's artwork. If you want to change the vibe of your space, think about bringing your favorite armchair next to your desk so you can plop into it whenever you need a break. Or maybe set up a coffee station in your office for an afternoon pick-me-up. Jonathan Adler says the objects that you surround yourself with can either bum you out or lift your spirits. So go out of your way to choose things that make you happy. Auto sales were down industry-wide in 2020. However, some automakers like Kia were able to pivot and even grow. Kia Director of Corporate Communications and Automotive Expert James Bell joins us now to share his insights on what to expect across the industry in 2021 and beyond, as well as his company's secrets for success. The pandemic has obviously changed, well, it's changed the world, and the car business has been no exception. We saw customers already looking at the sales and service side of their automotive life, looking at different ways, maybe for a convenience sake. But the pandemic and fears for people's health and safety has really amplified that change. And I'm so proud of Kia dealers for making that change in, in ways that other brands are not doing so well at. It's something that we should be very, very proud of. People are excited to not only do their research online, but actually take delivery of their vehicle online, do their service with an appointment and have the vehicle cleaned before it comes back to them. And the result, our sales are off the charts. The new K5 exceeding expectations. The Telluride is still sold out and has been for a better part of two years now. And the new Sorento just coming into the marketplace, really having a big impact and knocking brands like Ford and Chevrolet sideways. So we're really excited about not only the way our business has changed, but the momentum it's gonna give us as we get past this pandemic world as well. If you'd like more information, please go to Kia.com. There are big infotainment displays, and then there's Mercedes-Benz's Hyperscreen. The German automaker just unveiled a mammoth pillar-to-pillar 56-inch touchscreen that will debut in the upcoming EQS luxury electric sedan. The Hyperscreen is the centerpiece of the automaker's second-generation Mercedes-Benz User Experience, or MBUX, infotainment system that has nixed physical buttons in favor of a completely digital and voice-controlled in-car user experience. To be sure, the Hyperscreen isn't one screen, but several displays embedded in one solid piece of curved glass that spans the entire dash. Based on early images, there appear to be at least three screens embedded in the display, an instrument cluster behind the steering column, a central infotainment screen, and an additional screen facing the front passenger. Mercedes says the hyperscreen will include something called zero layers, in which the user no longer has to scroll through a variety of submenus or give voice command, as the most important applications are always available in a situational and contextual way at the top of the driver's field of vision. The automaker provided a couple of examples, including if you always call one particular person on the way home on Tuesday evenings, you will be asked to make a corresponding call on that day of the week and that specific time of day. A business card will appear with the contact information and if it's stored, their photo will appear. If someone else drives the EQS on a Tuesday evening, this recommendation would not be made, or another one is made depending on the preferences of the other user. Okay, I can see some possible embarrassing situations with the future. The updated infotainment system will let drivers save various preferences like seating settings, interior light color, favorite radio station, and more. These personal profiles can be embedded or displayed by using the new security features or even loading in other Mercedes-Benz vehicles. Whenever I see stuff like this, I think of my producer's boomer dad telling her that power windows are a setup for the service department to make more money. Anyway, it's all a beautiful system. I can't wait to mess up with my fingerprints. We'll be right back with more of The Tech Show.
Skyroom is a little device that can help you make some big changes in your lifestyle. It's a powerful portable hotspot that works almost anywhere in the world. So if you are working from home, you can ease the strain on your home Wi-Fi and get things done faster. If you've decided to jump in an RV or hunker down somewhere exotic, it gets you covered there too. And today we have Stephen Janay, Acquisition Marketing Manager at Skyroam here to tell us more about it. Hello and welcome to the Tech Show. Hello, how are you doing today? So how long has Skyroam been around? So actually Skyroam as a company is over a decade old. Um, our CEO, Jing, um, spent you know first handful of years developing technology that makes our, our devices unique, uh, which is a patented vSIM. So it's kind of a virtual SIM. Um, but we've been selling our devices that have this vSIM chip um, for the better part about six years now. Um, and our current models, the Solus uh, line, uh, which look like this, have been around for about four years now. And the one I have in my hand is actually our newest model, the Solus X, which came out uh, in 2019. How is Skyrim so fast and so secure? Yeah, the great thing about, so as a mobile Wi-Fi hotspot, it's, a, it's an encrypted connection. And because it's your own device with your own login, you're never sharing public Wi-Fi, um, like at a cafe or even at an airport. So unless you're sharing your login, it is your private connection, almost like you know at your home when you have that password protected. Um, and the reason it's fast is just because by being a multi-carrier network, you know most hotspots you buy from a major carrier and you have a contract with only them, only their service. So what Skyrim has done and what our vSIM allows us to do is we have deals with local carriers in every country we operate in, which is over 135 countries. And so we're not dependent on a single carrier in that area. So a lot of times, you know, with the cell phone, oh, if I have this carrier in this area, it works great. But then I go to a different area and this carrier isn't giving me as good a perception as maybe another carrier. So with our vSIM, we can basically automatically in the back end switch to the best available signal. We have heard of people who have decided to move to a new city in the world every couple of months until we go back to real life in an office. What's been your feedback from people working far away from home? Yeah, it's been a very changing um, lifestyle for a lot of people. And I think that's even more why reliable Wi-Fi can be so beneficial. Um, you know, everyone, most people now are working with a laptop from they received from their company. Um, but if you're moving from place to place, you know, you may be doing an Airbnb or maybe you're doing a hotel. Um, and depending on the situation there, it really might not have the reliable Wi-Fi you need. Um, even more than that, you know, people are getting out of the house now that because you don't need to be in an office. So whether it be either an RV or say you're, you know, some people are moving uh, to tropical locations and you want to go work out at a table on the beach or even in your backyard and your home Wi-Fi doesn't reach that. Um, so having the portable hotspot means that basically you can kind of go anywhere where there's mobile reception. So let's say I have one of these and I'm using it occasionally at home, but I don't know when I'll be traveling again. What kind of plan should I go with? That's a great question. So another great benefit of Skyroam is that we have very flexible plans and we don't tie you into any long-term contracts. So if you don't know how often you'd be using data or you don't think you have a high need for it, then you don't need to do a unlimited subscription, which we do offer. But we also have our pay-as-you-go plans. Um, so we actually have a one we call GoData, which is a it's a subscription, but you basically are only paying for the first gig. Um, and then as you go, as you need more data, it's a flat rate per gig. Um, and if you actually do even do um, discounted pricing when you buy that extra gigs in bulk every month. Any additional features you want to share? Um, yeah, since actually we talked about the Solus X um, and the Solus X and our other devices, the Solus line of hotspots, they all also have power bank functionality. Um, so a lot of times now, especially if you are uh, working out of the home, your phone and your other devices might run out of battery. And so we put a, a large battery in our hotspots. So not only does it give you all day battery life if you're just using it for Wi-Fi, but also it's great for charging up phones or other gadgets on the go. Where can people find out more? Yeah, so you can learn more about Skyrim at our website, which is skyrim.com. Um, and we also sell our products on Amazon as well. Thank you, Stephen. We'll be back with Take My Money right after this. We all know that movement is like medicine, but getting the movement you need to feel better can be a challenge. Now you can keep fit while you sit with QB, the world's leading compact seated elliptical. QB gives you active sitting. 
letting you burn calories and keep moving in an easy and low impact way. All while you work, read, or watch TV. QB was named a top 10 gift by Time Magazine and has been featured all over the world. It's whisper quiet while it works your abs and core, hip flexors, glutes, quads, hamstrings, and calves. QB is a lifesaver for me. Here's your answer to your problem. I feel young again. Join the hundreds of thousands of people moving more with QB. Call to find out how to get your QB with free shipping and a 30-day completely risk-free trial. You'll also get this QB workout mat free. Now keep fit while you sit with QB. To order, call 800-514-2042. That's 800-514-2042. Call now. Now it's time for Take My Money, where this week we have a product that actually won the big find competition on QVC and HSN. Man, every time I get out of bed at night, I hit my leg or I stub my toe. Um, and so the first thing that came to my head was, why not have a light on my slippers? And it's a simple idea, but it's, it's, it's a, a reinvention of something that we already have. So I think it's something that we needed. No, no. Halo slippers, absolutely not. I'm keeping my money. And you know what? Do better HSN and QVC. Thanks for joining us this week. Follow us at The Tech Show TV and join the conversation. Tech you later.